Hello once again, Magic players, and welcome to another episode of Draw Go. Today, we're going to be finishing up that little cycle that I showed you a couple times ago, of uh, this time with Sliver Legion. Last time, we completed the Ally Color cycle with uh, Sliver Queen. And this go around, we're just going to be doing that same mirror piece of art with Sliver Legion. Like I was saying before, a really fun thing that you can do in your sets, and if you commission me, that I will do in your sets, is try and create little uh, cycles, because magic is certainly a game of cycles. And keeping that in mind, we want to try and uh, do a similar thing with our own cards. Because that's what players have come to expect. They've come to expect uh, Magic to do these certain, somewhat predictable, kind of repeating structures inside of them. And if you don't play with that design, uh, then you're like your proxies, your ideas, your things like that, well, they're just going to be a little bit less than optimal. Uh, clearly, not everything we need to do is going to be peak optimal. Uh, this deck is certainly proof of that, and most of my decks are certainly proof of that. Uh, pet cards, flavor cards, doing things just because you like them is definitely my preferred way of playing Magic, but the one thing that I think really makes good Magic art and good Magic proxies is playing into the preconceived notions that people have. Um, if a character is known for doing a certain thing, you well, you'll want to do that. Like if you have a really aggressive, maybe like even in the show or anime or fandom, like a psychopathic, murderous kind of character, then you don't want to just put them on a bunch of... You wouldn't want to put it on Sphinx's Revelation, for example. It might be the worst place. Like, uh, a character in an anime that I really like, uh, Kachan from My Hero Academia, or Bakugo, as is more common, even his best friend still, uh, not his best friend, even one of his childhood friends still calls him Bakugo, even though should certainly call Kachan more frequently, I don't know, be like if I just called uh, my friends by their last names, but then again, my uh, friends typically don't try to kill me. Anyway, what I was saying is that he would be a terrible Sphinx's revelation. He would be an awesome, uh, awful healing grace, and he would be a terrible uh, angelic... Gosh dang, what is that one called? Angelic reprieve? Angelic salvation? It costs four mana and gains you seven life. It's a really bad card, but it is what it is. Magic's gotta make a couple of bad cards every once in a while. Gotta make those uh, chase mythics even more chase. Like, boop. There we go. <laughs> like the Marn Horizon cards. Things are going up in price pretty crazily right now, as you can see by the little date on my uh, computer. But it's uh, still July, still 2019, so if they've gone up even more since this recording, then damn, it's insane. Um, but. What on earth was that going on about? It was going on about pet cards, going about what makes magic so great, going on about cycles and making sure that you have them. So if you can find like a sort of theme to do, like I was talking about uh, flavor of characters and flavor of things, like in this thing in particular I've done uh, this character Cinnabar as a lot of the 
necrotic, decaying, dead slivers, although the character herself is far from dead. Maybe. I mean, I've seen her in some of the manga things, but she could she could be dead. <laughs> Although her character is currently viewed as not dead, uh, her character arc is accidentally, and sometimes on purpose, killing things. Not really her fault, but her whole shtick is that she can't really be around the other gems because of this uh, thing that she emits. Although it doesn't work super well on the Sliver Legion, it works so well on uh, all of the enemy color ones, which is what she was. And just the flavor of enemy color in general, like, those are the colors that are fighting themselves. I think it works very well on that. In particular, Frenetic Sliver, uh, we got a very beautiful art for Frenetic Sliver, and it, that card is trying to do the right thing. It's trying to save your guys, it's trying to blink your slivers, but half of the time, unless you have Kark's Thumb, it's going to end up killing your slivers, and that's, like, it just fits the flavor so well. Uh, so... For a card like I was talking about, like Kachan from My Hero, instead of, like, even if he's your favorite character, and even if you have, even if your pet card is like, uh, that one Loxodon that doubles how effective life gain spells are, maybe it's best to choose a different character. Maybe find a kill spell for Kachan. Save a kill spell for that guy. Or maybe, uh. Oh, there's only two bubbles. Cool, it's a lot. Oh, there's a third one. Gonna wanna grab all these little pieces of mercury. So that they look nice. Anyway, what was I saying? You might want to get, like, a big powerful demon or someone that has to do with explosions. Heck, even a Chandra, although Kachan's very much a guy. Chandra is very much girl would uh, work better than like a life game sort of flavored spell. Grab these little bubbles, tiny little nugs. Alright, and we're done. At least I think we're done. Is there anything I've done? I'm not gonna just kind of behind the top here. It's basically just your hair. We might even give her a haircut. I'll show you how to do that in just a sec. Bam. See what that looks like. Alright. I like it. I'm not a huge fan of all these butterflies, but that's okay. Beggars cannot be choosers. Alright, so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to lasso select. Suck up some of this hair. Uh, do a little bit of the brush work as well. Just nice. There we go. I like that little haircut. It looks good. And 
you will super not be able to tell from the size of the card. Yeah, it's about this big. But getting rid of that kind of closes a question in our minds of asking, like, where's that gone? Where's her, the rest of her hair? <laughs> As humans are, like, completionist sort of animals, we want things to be whole and we hate, like, things being left off like that. Like, I'm gonna come down here and just trim off a little bit of her foot because, uh, a similar kind of concept. It looked fine, and that looks fine as well. We're more accepting of these little nubs, kind of like the Powerpuff Girls, than we are of sharp angles. But this is Sliver Legion, and I hope the little things have helped you out. I hope this inspires you to do great things. And I can't wait to uh, finish off this deck. We'll see you later.